Hi there, everyone. This is Mailman Zero playing Earthbound. Last time we destroyed Master Belch. Today we're going to go back to his base because I seem to have forgotten some things. I was rushing through so quickly I didn't go into any extra places. So here I am going the wrong way already. This is. is uh, I get confused. I think what I want to do is not go there. Or there. Let's go up here. This will take us back, backwards to Master Belch's base. A little shortcut back, since we seem to have missed some things. And we'll probably have to fight some enemies along the way. Maybe it's empty now. There don't seem to be any enemies yet. Well, being empty, it's even better. Let's see what our equipment status looks like. Our, uh, our goods status. We've got one space there. No spaces there. I might just dump some of this, because I don't need all of these things anymore. I I'm not wearing the Franklin badge. You know, I think I'm going to call Escargo Express. So Escargo Express shouldn't take too long to get here. We'll wonder where he came from when we're walking around here. He'll just show up. My controller is having a problem where when I go right, it wants to go down. I might have to switch controllers out. Yes, I can cover the bill. Okay, so we will get rid of the fly honey. We don't need the, that anymore. Uh, yeah, we'll see what else we can have him take. Um, you know, we don't use the for sale sign very often, but I don't know if I'm going to want it. Um, Franklin Badge is nice to just have on hand. Um, but you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it for now. If I need it, I can get it back from him. And then I don't think I need the slime generator. Um, I have a lot of bottle rockets, but I'm gonna be needing those soon anyway. So I'll just hold on to those and use them. Um, I have a lot of extra stuff for him. I think I think we'll just get rid of the slime generator for now. And then maybe... Um, maybe try to sell some of this extra stuff off. Um, like, I don't... A broken spray can. Like, I don't... I don't think I need that. Insecticide spray, I don't think I really need that either. Um, a lot of these things I really just don't need. Uh, I'm gonna sell... I thought he had... Didn't someone have... Yeah, we'll sell this copper bracelet. Um, see if there's anything else we can sell. I need a secret herb. In fact, I need to. I should probably buy another secret herb. Um, but a lot of this other stuff I don't need. Um, I'm gonna sell off this hand aid. I guess. Uh, yeah, we'll sell off one more thing. I don't know. Maybe one of these croissants. And we'll buy. Um, oh, he doesn't have any. I thought I thought I could get those here. Oh well. What is what is this guy? Is he also a sales guy? Yeah, this is more like it. So, refreshing herb, secret herb. I need another secret herb. Um. 
guess we'll have Paula carry it. She doesn't already have one, does she? Okay. What else did he have to sell? I don't think I need any of these things. Um, let's move some items around. Oh, see the down arrow thing is getting to me. I'm gonna go switch out controllers. Alright, now we'll go back and... Oh no, I wanted to move some goods around. Forgot to do that. Um, broken spray can. I don't remember the deal with that, but we'll give that to Paula. And then, uh, he's only got one spot. Wait, stun gun? I'm gonna sell the stun gun too, and then we'll be good. Doesn't matter? I guess it doesn't matter. Sell the stun gun. Alright. We should be good now. So I'm noticing that there are no enemies in this base. I'm not really sure what the deal with that is. But, we can come up here and get some stuff now that there are no enemies, I guess. Yeah, dig around in that trash can. Ooh, a vital capsule. Let's use the vital capsule. And we'll give this to Paula. I guess when I use it, I can use it on anyone I want, huh? Yeah. So we'll use it on Paula. Because Paula, uh, vitality has to do with your maximum uh, hit points, and Paula just has low hit points in general. HP Sucker, that's good. We'll give that to the only one that can use it. Well, maybe it's not the only one that can use it, but we'll give it to him anyway. This one is mostly useful for Jeff. And what's in here? Calorie stick. Well, that's kind of useless. Now, there, there should be one more good item in here that I, was really the reason I came back, was for that vital capsule and for this next item. It's funny the conveyor belt's still moving up there. Nobody there to work it. And here we've got an IQ capsule. We'll go ahead and also use this on Paula. And IQ is important because um, I, I believe that has to do with your maximum psychic points. And Paula is the primary psychic points user, so that should be everything. I mean, I don't, I don't think there was anything else important in here that I needed to get. So we'll zip right on back to the Mr. Saturns. And we'll save and do all that, and uh, I'll meet you back where we're going next for the next musical sound sanctuary place. I think I might have missed something in here. Let me talk to everyone and see. Secret herb was already sold by another guy. I don't need that. Okay. Yeah, I already knew about that. What does this guy say? I'm no scared. Here is present. I hand you a cup of life noodles. I hand you Mr. Saturn coin. I no hand you my stag beetle. Oh, tease you. I have no something. Okay. So I guess it's time to equip some of those things. Who got what here? Cup of life noodles on him. That's good. And the stag beetle is useless. Where? Oh, the Mr. Saturn coin. Let's try to equip that on Paula and see. Whoa! Yeah, I think that's worth it. I think it's time to get rid of that ribbon. Let's go ahead and sell that back. So we'll go ahead and sell that ribbon back. 
And we'll sell that beetle too, because that's pretty useless. And of course, now we've got another opportunity to get our picture taken. I'm looking at the camera! Fuzzy Pickles! Well, let's go on then. Hole, Milky Well. What this? Ding, ding. Even the signs are written in Mr. Saturn's script. Hooray! Our first fights. Ooh. Uh, this guy is named Ran... something. Uh, I guess we'll just attack them and see what happens. Well, that was a good way to start. Well, shields aren't helping me any. At least they're not too strong. I mean, ten, that's not bad. I guess I'll just keep bashing and see what happens. Oh good. The last thing I need is for people to be falling asleep, or to be turned into mushrooms, or any of those things. I just heard the doorbell, but I think my wife's gonna get it. Go Ness, 30, that's just what we needed. That wasn't too bad. We'll just keep going and see what we get here. Ooh, we got a green. We got lucky. Let's just bash like crazy. We'll see that worked. See, I think Paula though... Ooh, a smash attack on Ness. That's not good. Well, we're so early on in trying to go in here, I, I don't think it's worth it to stay in here. I mean, I may as well just go back and get some free life, but I don't know. Maybe not. What's our status, anyway? Our status isn't even very good. Okay, well we'll just consider this getting some, uh, some life, or some, uh, experience points. Oh, uh, well, definitely, definitely want to get this guy out of the picture first. Um... I think I will freeze him. We'll just all attack him. Oh good. And immediately Jeff gets mushroomized. I was trying to avoid that. Getting mushroomized is like the worst thing that can happen at this point. I shouldn't even be attacking with him, because you never know when he's gonna just attack one of his own party members when he's mushroomized. We'll just bash and defend, bash and defend. Try it on Jeff. Sure, that's a good good one. I knew he was going to do it on Jeff. I can't kill this guy, he just keeps casting spells on himself. Finally. Silly mushroom on your head. Will this get rid of mushroomization? I don't remember. Yes, it does. Well, I'm gonna go and get some free life at the sleepy town. Or the sleepy town down here. I don't know what you call that. I mean, I don't know where I sleep when I go there. It doesn't really make much sense. There are no beds. There's just this one tiny room. I guess I sleep up in this thing. Yes! Alright. Now that we've got our psychic points revived, we can go back in and try to make a go at it. Hopefully this time we can avoid getting mushroomized in like the second fight or the third fight. Alright. 
try to avoid those those guys. So I think I think these guys are kind of the least of our concerns. So we'll go for these guys first. Um, but at the same time, I'm not really sure. Like I don't know. I'll use some fire. See what it does. It hurt everybody a little bit, it wasn't that effective. But it got rid of the one. Perfect. Actually, it was perfect. So now we can all just concentrate on the last guy, the... Ren... something. Okay, so Jeff's not doing so hot, but he's not too bad. Jeff leveled up, though, at least. What's his maximum? I don't even remember anymore. Uh, not that much. I don't know. Maybe I should give him some. If he went down that much in one fight, I probably should give him some life. Alright. Okay, now we've got to get this mushroom immediately. Oh, there are two of them? Okay, this is bad. Um, I'm going to bash this one, and I'm going to use... I'm going to use Fire Beta just so it attacks everyone. And I'm going to attack this guy. Okay, mushrooms don't... Don't do it. Oh, already. I can't even make it out of this first room without getting mushroomized. Great. Attack yourself, Jeff. Good job. <sighs> okay, well... Again, it's not worth it to keep going if I can't even make it out of this one room without getting mushroomized. Go Paula! What is that? A, is that a... De no, it's not Delta. Epsilon. Psy Shield Epsilon, I think. Well, now that he's mushroomized, we'll come over here and have a, another big mushroom battle. Oh, good. Let's just go crazy with our psychic attacks, then. And he can't do anything, so he'll defend. That's what I like to see. Get rid of him in one shot. And this will definitely take out everyone else. Except for that guy. I don't know how that even happened. Oh, wow. How is this even possible? Well, again... This is good for getting some experience. Do I have to keep walking in it for it to work? No, I just have to can't I can't stand too close to the entrance, is the problem. Alright. So let's get back to it. I'm gonna give it another shot here. We will use fire beta on the whole row, because I don't trust that those guys will get taken care of. And Ness feels strange, and he'll probably kill somebody. And Paula feels strange immediately. But we got lucky that that actually got used where it was supposed to. I certainly hope, come on. Oh, I'm so glad. I thought Ness was going to kill us. Um, wow, what should I do here? I guess I could just defend. <sighs> but then he's left to just... Ah, oh, this is... Now he's poisoned. This is beautiful. And Jeff's dead. 
now the only people that are left now. Oh, man. This is gonna be a bad fight. Okay, we got lucky there. But Jeff, of course, gets no experience now. And Ness gets another level. Well, I don't need Ness to level up. I need Jeff to level up. But I won't complain. It's good. So we're mushroomized, and Jeff's dead, so we're gonna have to go and get him revived now at the hospital. This is not turning out to be a very exciting video. Oh! I didn't realize it would bring him back to life. Well, let's give it another try then. See how far we can get. Well, this is easy. We've just got two of these guys. Anything to keep away from those silly, silly mushrooms. That's all I have to say. Wow. That was overkill. Sleeping I can handle. Just don't mushroomize anyone. Of course, I don't think he can mushroomize people. Alright. So that wasn't too bad. Oh boy, we've got two more mushrooms. Let's see if we can make it through without getting mushroomized again. <sighs> Here we go. Come on, fire. Oh, now we got a chance to attack before they did this time. That's not what happened before. But again, I'm mushroomized in the first cave. Twice I'm now mushroomized in the first cave. Okay, well there's not going to be any more mushroomization, so... We'll just go ahead and have Ness defend, and Paula defend. We'll shoot here, and hope that it takes care of everything. Uh, now we got Ness asleep and mushroomized. I guess we'll defend here. And then uh, shoot him. Hope it's enough. A shield, that's not helping us. And now Jeff's asleep. So now all we can do is defend, and Jeff's asleep. I mean, we could try to attack, but it's dangerous, and I don't want anyone to die. I guess it, I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll just we'll just take our chances, because even if someone dies, even if someone dies, then we can go right back to the springs. It's a pretty safe place to to level up because of that. Perfect. Just what we needed. Jeff leveling up. Man, I've been playing for a long time already today, and I haven't gotten anywhere. No, that's not right. They're mushroomized. Perfect. Well, we'll do the same thing. We'll just keep trying to keep from getting everyone mushroomized. Oh, good. You can feel funky and attack the wrong guy as long as it's not one of our guys, Ness. No, wrong one. You gotta attack them in the order that the danger presents itself. Well, at least we get some more experience out of this. Of course, attack yourself, Ness, why not? Okay, just one more left. As long as Ness doesn't attack himself, we should be fine. Don't attack yourself, Ness. Please, whatever you do. Perfect. And we all get the experience. Perfect for Paula. 28. That's right where I wanted her to be, really. I mean, maybe 29 would be good, but... Yeah, that's a good level for her. She got lots of psychic points. Well, okay, this is pretty disappointing, but I think I'm going to stop this one here today. Because uh, I've been playing for a long time already, and it's apparent that we're just not strong enough to start those fights by our, our first. So I'm going to come over here and save, and um, hopefully next time there won't be as much of this uh, go in, get mushroomized, come back out kind of thing. So, um... Stick with it. Um, I'll, I'll have another video soon, and 
we'll be able to hopefully keep going. Well, thanks for watching. Have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.